Hi you guys, welcome back. I'm here with a favorites video. It's been a while since I've done one. I didn't do one in December, a lot was going on. So here we are with the first favorites video of the new year. First and foremost, before I even get into the favorites, I did film this tutorial. I wanted to do like a 2016 meets 2024 and this is the look and I, I just love it. It's kind of just like a more modernized 2016 makeup look and I'm so excited to share it with you because I had so much fun doing it I'm gonna say that first and foremost because I know you guys have been wanting like a cut crease tutorial so coming next um, but first I wanted to share all the things that I've been loving all month long let's just jump into the favorites we've got a lot of makeup and then a bunch of other lifestyle-y things. So let's get into it. I have so much makeup here. I don't even know where to start. So I'm just gonna start grabbing random things. So the first thing I have here is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I have been loving this, loving this. It looks so beautiful on my lashes. I feel like the wand is very unique in comparison to other mascara wands that I've tried. It tapers, but it's full at the same time. I love this because I can layer on multiple coats and it looks gorgeous. I also can use this on my lower lashes as well and it's not too chunky. That's usually my problem is I like a very chunky top lash line or like my, my top lashes to be really chunky and I like the lower lashes to be just a little bit more feathery. I can get that with this mascara. So I love this. It is a bougier mascara but I've been using drugstore mascaras for like primarily throughout my makeup career just because drugstore mascaras are like top notch, but I love this. It's been great. Next, I have the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is amazing. I feel like this is better than any bougie face primer that I've tried. It goes on and feels just so incredibly nourishing and soft, almost like a serum. And I feel like it really does help my makeup to stay on a lot longer. This is a little video that I'm gonna include here that is my makeup at the end of the day where I did my makeup at the beginning of the day. And my makeup has just been looking like this at the end of the day lately and it just it looks incredible and I feel like it's got to be because of this primer because in that video I'm using the Pat McGrath foundation which I always use so I just feel like it's been looking really good and I have to credit this for that so they do have this mixed with niacinamide in another one and I'm kind of really wanting to try that too because I love niacinamide there's actually another product in here that's like straight up ni niacinamide I'll show you that in a second, but uh, I love this and I kind of want to try that other one. So next I have the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. This is what I have on my skin right now. And I love this because it gives like a, not necessarily a sheen. It just looks like you're wearing really good moisturizer. I don't know if you can see in the bottle, it has like a, an iridescence to it, which really turned me off when I saw it in the bottle. But I was like, let's just give it a shot. And it doesn't look iridescent on the skin. Um, it definitely looks like they pumped like luminizer in here, but it just looks so natural and glowy on the skin. I do get more oily, so I have to like powder the shit out of like my T-zone, but that's with any foundation. I've just been really loving this. The shade that I have is 120. I do also have 129. This is what I was using when I was tan, but even then it was still a little too dark. And this is what I have on now, and I'm very fair right now. You can see my hands. But even the 120, like it oxidizes. So I would definitely go maybe a little bit lighter than you think that you need. Normally 120 works for me in Maybelline foundation, so... Um, I think if I wanted like my true shade, I'd have to go a little bit lighter or just continue bringing this down. I literally coated all the way down my chest with this today, but it's gorgeous. It blends out like a dream. It's just beautiful. And I feel like it's customizable. You could do a little bit more sheer or a little bit fuller coverage. And this does have a dropper, by the way. That's how it applies, which I really like. So been loving this. Next I have the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love these. You know, it's so funny. I went through quite a long phase of not liking the regular Shape Tape, but here we are. I think it's just like my love and resurgence for like more dramatic makeup again that like I'm wanting something a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more full coverage, you know? And this has just been like filling my cup. So the Tarte Radiant one, um, this one is really good for every day for me. It does give a more radiant look and I just think it looks really natural. Um, the shape, the regular shape tape is what I have on right now because I wanted to do like a more dramatic look, something a little bit more matte. I feel like they are still the same amount of coverage, 
but this definitely the radiant one definitely looks a little bit more shiny underneath the eyes but i really have been loving them both i use them for different things sometimes i'll actually mix them together and it's just been fun i feel like it also kind of gives me that like nostalgic feel because it's like old school youtube vibes but yeah, I love them. Um, I've been in the shade, I've been using the shade light medium in both of them and they've just been my jam. Also, I've been blending them out with my beauty blender. I'm just like, I'm just bringing back all of like the old feels from like beginning of YouTube days and it's just, it's been filling my cup and making me feel really good. So also the beauty blender to blend that out. Also, I think that part of that too is just like, I'm aging, I'm 32, things on my face are changing and it's kind of nice to go in with a wet sponge just to blend it all out. I mean, do I use a brush sometimes? Absolutely. But there's something about it that just feels like a little bit more self-care when I'm using a, a sponge. I wanted to share my lip combo that I've been wearing recently. Unfortunately, I don't have it on right now, but I did, I think I used it in my last get ready with me video um that whole look that i wore in the latest get ready with me video is the look that i've been just like gravitating towards recently a ton so in that i show you this lip combo which is the nyx nude beige lip pencil this is gorgeous for my skin tone because it it's a little bit cooler toned like cooler toned and neutral i'll actually use this too when I'm going to the gym, I've been doing my makeup for the gym recently and it's made me feel just a little bit more confident and a little bit more put together. And like, if I have to run errands after, then I don't just feel like a naked mole rat. I feel like a little bit more put together and it makes me feel glam. So, um, this is the lip pencil I've been using for that because it's the most neutral. It's not too warm. It's not cool toned either. And it's just, it looks really good on my lips when I don't have anything else on. So I use this for my go-to combo. And then I also add chai from Anastasia. This reminds me of cool brown, but it has a little bit of like a purpley hue to it. It's just beautiful. So I'll use this to like deepen up the edges and like outer line of my lips. And then I'll go in with either Honey Love, which is this color, or I'll go in with Kinda Sexy, which is this color it's a little bit darker and a little bit more warm but that whole combo has just been my go-to and i feel like my lips have just looked really plump really luscious but also very matte at the same time i've been really into like the matte lips again glossy lips have been in for a while and i'm ready to bring back the all matte so um that's just been my go-to combo other thing that i've been wearing all the time is my man eater palette from tarte and i have a bone to pick with tarte because i went to link this the other day and looks like it's discontinued because they apparently replaced it with this one and listen this is a beautiful palette but it's totally different so i'm really upset because this color saucy is just it reminds me of pretzel it's just the most glorious rich brown and it makes my eyes pop like a lot and that color is not in the new one so this is the new one it is beautiful this is a beautiful palette it's just not my absolute favorite as the other one but yeah i wanted to show you that this is what i've been using but you can't buy it unfortunately um hopefully you got your hands on it while it was available for all the years it was available but yeah been loving that unfortunately <laughs> moving on to this lip product i know i just said that i'm all about like the matte lips again I have been wearing this a lot for the last like two months. This is from Makeup by Mario. It's the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum and I have it in the color Rosewood Glow. The thing about this is you can't roll it up all the way because if you do, it's gonna become like a sloppy mess. So you have to keep it almost like under rolled like I have here and like kind of like really apply it on the lips because it's very emollient and it's just gonna slip and slide all over your lips. So you don't need that much. You need just the tiniest amount. This on top of the NYX Nude Beige is a gorgeous combo. It looks so beautiful and so luscious. So if you do like that more glossy lip, but you also don't like a gloss because I don't like sticky glosses. They have to be very moisturizing. You'd really like this because it is called a serum, like a lip serum. And that's exactly how it feels on my lips. It's just very like moisturizing. So I've been wearing this a lot. 
um, mainly in December. So I wanted to include it because now I'm like kind of going more towards the matte side of things, but um, I had to include it because I was wearing it a ton. Another thing that I've been loving is Vaseline. <laughs> um, I use this on my lips. So this is the little one and then this is the big one. So I got this just put on my lips to make them look a little bit more moisturized, but we had some days, we had like a full week of like negative 15 degree weather and my lips were like bleeding because they were just like peeling off my face. And so I ordered some of this and my heels were cracking like crazy. So I got a little baby one for my lips and then I got a big one for my heels. And then I also bought... This is like the winter girl's guide. Um, I also got a heel scraper for my heels on my feet. So it's just like a little dual purpose, little combo that I have going here. So um, with my feet, I'll scrape them with this while they're dry, follow up with the Vaseline, and we've got some baby soft heels. And then for my lips, you can either apply it on your lips just as is, or if you want like a lip liner -y look, I'll use the nude beige and just a little teeny tiny little bit of this and it just looks like my lips. It looks like it's my lip color and they look a little bit more plump. Um, but again, it's Vaseline so it's just very soft and buttery. It's not like sticky and like glossy and whatever. It's just, it's gorgeous. So this has just been like a dream for this winter time because it has been so cold, so dry, so... Ugh. So that has just been saving me. Okay, another skincare thing that I have just been in love with is the Naturium Niacinamide Serum. <sighs> I notice when I use this and I notice when I don't use this. This has been making my skin just feel incredible. Comes out in like a little pump like this. You can get this at like Target and stuff. Um, it's just, it's wonderful. I feel like my skin has really been feeling so soft and smooth. I am, you know, I just posted some pictures of my makeup with no filter on um, Instagram stories. And like my texture is really texturing right now. <laughs> I think I really need to get like a good retinol. I just finished the Summer Fridays retinol and I started using the Drunk Elephant retinol, but I'm kind of thinking I need just something a little bit more intense because we need some more exfoliation. Maybe I should get, I don't know if you guys followed me like years and years and years and years ago, but at the beginning of my channel, like 10 years ago, I used this moisturizer by the brand Alpha Skincare and the moisturizer was called like Alpha Hydrox, Alpha Hyd. I know the ingredient in this moisturizer is alpha hydroxy acid and it's a chemical exfoliant, but I think the name of the moisturizer itself was called like Alpha Hydrox or I don't know. Anyway, it had a red top. I'm sure I can get it on Amazon. That used to save my skin a long time ago. So I'm contemplating getting that again, especially for these winter months and like just to help with my texture again. Um, but texture aside, the softness of my skin has just been off the wall. After that stretch of like really dry, freezing cold days, I started using this like kind of halfway through and it helped my skin so much because my skin just felt like parched, like it needed a drink of water and this really helped with that. So loving this, it's incredible. Next I have this perfume and it's actually a perfume sample. So this is gonna sound so creepy when I explain this, but this is the Tom Ford Santal, Santal Rose, something like that. I got this sample because I heard on TikTok that this is what Taylor Swift wears. So I was just intrigued. I wanted to just go get a sample. Bitch. Ugh. This like literally smells like what I imagined Taylor Swift would smell like. It gives me like a 70s vibe, but like a rich 70s vibe and like feminine and like deep, but floral. Oh my gosh, this is like one of the best smelling fragrances I've ever smelled and I am so picky. So I sprayed it and even Ruben said something about the way I smelled and I was like, okay, because we don't really vibe with um, the same fragrances for me. Anyway, Oh, I want it so bad, but it's $300, something like that. I, so I'm gonna be nursing this little sample and I had to share it with you because if you've got $300 to spend on a perfume, get it, get it. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm sitting here just like snorting it. Amazing, amazing. And I, I mean, I would like to smell like Taylor Swift. Next up is my new New Balance sneakers, you guys. 
I love these. I just got these actually. I've been eyeballing them for a while. Um, I love me a good dad shoe. I mean, this just brings me to the 4th of July grilling hot dogs, burgers, maybe some baggy jean shorts to the knee and a tucked in wolf shirt like that is the vibe all jokes aside though they're extremely comfortable i love the color it was really hard for me to get these because they've been sold out but yeah I've, I've loved these for a while but i have another shoe that's very similar but they just weren't very comfortable so i couldn't justify buying these because i was like i feel like i already have them but I just don't end up wearing those as much because they're not as comfortable. Finally, I was just like, bitch, just buy the damn shoes. I'm walking all the time. I get in like 10 to 15,000 steps a day. I've upped my workout routine. It was like, you know what? I'm getting them. So I love them. The other thing too, I know it's probably annoying that I'm talking all about my color theory and color analysis and whatever. Um, but after learning that I am more cool toned than warm toned, that alone has just been so helpful for me when making different decisions. So when I saw that these were pure white with a navy, I was like, I want to start wearing more navy. I feel like I only have one shirt that's navy. It's like this um, baggy sweatshirt that I wear sometimes and I love it. And it makes sense that I'm wearing it all the time because guess what? It's navy. That's my, that's my undertone, you know, those cool tones. So I was just like, you know what? It's a vibe. And as I'm sitting here, I'm like, I just feel like it looks really good with my face. <laughs> You're probably like, bitch, it's a sneaker. I love them. These are the uh, New Balance 530s. And I have the, I think it's called like the white silver with the navy or maybe even like white clear. I don't know. I'll link these exact ones down below because the colors are a little tricky online. You have to make sure that you get the ones that you like. If you don't like navy, I know they have other ones that are white, but like have different variants, like more of like a beige incorporated, or they have like more of like a pure silver, you know, they've got like different color, um, color waves that you can do, but yeah, I love them. They're true to size. You know what I like about them too? It's like, it's a it's a true dad sneaker, but they're not too bulky. So I, I thought that these were gonna be like really chunky dad shoes. Maybe they just look like that online. They don't look like that in person. So um, I just love them. I love them and <laughs> I'm really excited about them. I got them this week. So I've only worn them just this week to work out, but um, I had to share them because I just have been obsessed and they make me feel like I'm that bitch. Oh, Ruben's calling me. I'm gonna be a little late. I'm running to AutoZone now to grab some connector. When I got the trailer hitch installed and wiring done, they must have used a shitty connector for the wiring harness with a plug. It keeps losing connection. And the other side did it too, and hardwired each wire directly to it, but. Yeah. Okay, love, I love you. Love you too. So I got this back in September. I've had an Apple Watch before, but I didn't end up using it as much as I thought that I was gonna use it. During that time of having the old Apple Watch, I was training with my personal trainer at the time. So all of my like workouts were basically like formulated for me where like heart rate wasn't a thing. I don't know. And I wasn't doing a lot of cardio and whatever. Then all last year, I ended up really focusing on walking and especially come like August, I, I walk every single day. And so I really wanted to focus on like getting my step count in. So I got the Apple watch again, cause I gave the other one to Ruben. And the other thing I didn't like about the other one that I had is it had a black band and it was just too aggressive with like, everything that I was wearing this kind of like blends into my skin more so I prefer this and I downloaded I think it's called steps the app and then you can put it on my um the front face here so I can look at my steps throughout the day anyway I just wanted to give you like a little bit of an update just because I bought it in September and I think I included it in a favorites video back then but now it's been almost five months and I use this thing every damn day when I got this I also started syncing up my birth control with it so I use natural cycles I've talked about them before this isn't sponsored but they came out with an integration with the Apple watch so now I don't have to take my temperature in the morning it just syncs up right here so far so good not pregnant and it's been so easy because sometimes I would fall asleep on the couch and I would have like all of this stress and like feel anxious because then I couldn't track my temperature that day and it was like messing me up because 
I would leave my thermometer upstairs and you have to do it first thing in the morning. Now, like all of that is out the window. If I fall asleep on the couch on the weekend with Ruben, whatever, it's no big deal because I've got my watch on and it tracks my temperature. So um, I know that's like a very niche thing. Not everyone's gonna have to do that, but I've just been really loving it. I've been getting in so many steps because of this thing. I don't know, it's just really been motivating and I feel like it's very easy for someone to say that they love something when they first get something and they start using something and there's just like the novelty of it. But now that I've been using it for quite a few months, consistently every single day, I can confirm that this has just been a real big game changer for me. I also turned off all notifications on this thing because I don't want to text, I don't want to call, I don't want to do any of that stuff. You can turn all of that off. So I pretty much just keep it for health and wellnessy type of things my period tracker and like birth control. And then also um, I have like my podcasts and music on here too. So if I'm walking, I can change all of that on my watch or whatever. But yeah, I wanted to give you an update on that because I've just been obsessed with it. Last but not least, this is so random, but I had to share it. So I have shared my keto cups that I love all the time. It's a coconut chocolate cup. It, oh God, it's so good. It's so good. I eat it with like a strawberry every single night for dessert and it tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry. Anyway, when I was buying those, um, I needed help reaching them because I'm five foot two and I can't reach shit. So um, the lady was helping me reach them. And she's like, by the way, like if you like those, you would really like these. It's by the brand Unreal and they're the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I was just about to lie and say that they taste exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup. I wouldn't say exactly, that would be a lie. I think the peanut butter in these tastes exactly like that, like a good peanut butter. The chocolate is dark chocolate. So it is definitely a richer, more like dark chocolatey version of a peanut butter cup, but it's so good. It's so, so good. So they have decent ingredients. The macros on here are good. It doesn't have a ton of sugar. It's just, it's delicious. And if you are um, trying to make healthier options, just eat healthier overall and you want like a good ass Reese's peanut butter cup, here you go. They taste phenomenal. So gotta check that out. I like to put them in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to soften them up a little bit, but ooh, so good. But yeah, I think that that's everything. I thought that I had a lot more, but I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my favorites were. I had a ton of makeup this month um, just because I've really been kind of like diving back into that again. My love for it is just kind of starting to sparkle again. I also feel like part of that is coming with just like me feeling more like myself again. It was a long two years. If you listen to the podcast, we kind of like go through all of that a lot over there. Um, oh, I guess I could say that that's also a favorite. Thank you for all the love on the podcast it's just been so much fun to do that again and just like have a partner now and it's been a lot of fun doing that we actually pre-filmed all of these videos and podcast episodes um like they're all done for the end until the end of march so it's nice to just like have all of that done and completed and just it's it's nice to have an outlet to like share about like more personal things sometimes i feel like i just share a lot here and like it's not given to like the correct audience you know what i mean and so it's just nice to have like our own little group over there where we can all just like talk about that kind of stuff open up more have a laugh have a cry whatever um so thank you for all the love on that if you haven't checked it out it's in her skin podcast we have a whole youtube page and it's on apple Podcasts and spotify so um that Re, the podcast relaunched at the beginning of this year. So um, thank you for all the love on that. That's been a lot of fun. But um, yeah, all of that to say, like I feel like the last two years was just a lot of reflecting and just kind of feeling out of my body in a weird way. Like I just didn't feel like myself at all. And so I feel like coming back into me and like who am I and what I love and like what I wanna do and whatever, the love for makeup has started to like spark back up again and I've just had so much fun. And so that makes sense why I have like so many makeup favorites today and like why it's just been fun to like just play around again. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I know it was like, let me just spit some like deep stuff on you right at the end there. But um, also I gotta say, I've been loving my freaking hair. It is getting so long. I'm so happy. So happy. We're gonna keep these uh these good vibes going with this hair and keep it growing. And ooh, I'm just excited about that too. That has been that's been a favorite too. Like I've been doing nothing different. It just 
<laughs> it's just finally getting to a length that I'm like real excited about. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. Please don't forget to share your favorites down below so we can kind of chit chat down below in the comments and let me know what else you want to see from me uh, down there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'll see you guys in the tutorial. I did a tutorial on this and that will be out next. So I'll see you then. Bye.